Hey everyone, this is Dave Stelzel, and of course the, the uh, author of The House in the Cloud. And I wanted to make this video in my car, I'm actually on my way to an appointment, but this message is so urgent that I didn't want to wait. Okay, so I've been working a lot with MSP businesses recently, and uh, and, and there's there's a problem out there. So I, and I know, if you're honest with yourself, if you look at the industry, you might be making money, I hope you are making money, but you know what? The, the industry, the whole MSP concept is old. I mean, we started this thing in 2003, and if you've been in technology for a long time, you know that every five to eight years, there's a cycle, there's a change, there's a paradigm shift, and if you're not shifting, you end up going out of business. Not necessarily in the five to eight years, but within a few years afterwards. So if you look at the MSP business today, most companies that have recurring revenue and have substantial recurring revenue, are flat, meaning they're not really growing anymore. And there's a lot of companies that you're gonna run into at distributor conferences and uh, partner summits and all that sort of stuff that are gonna tell you that they're you know X millions of dollars and it's three or four times the size of your company and they're gonna tell you how they built it and you're gonna be you know like, wow, how can I do that? And the truth is, they're not probably growing anymore. I know because I work with their sales teams and their sales teams tell me they're not, they're not closing business or they're not closing enough business to cover the churn, meaning they're flat, or they're shrinking. And you know what, if you're not growing, ultimately you are shrinking. So I don't want that to happen. So MSP transformation, when I say that, what I'm talking about is helping companies inject new life into their business. And there's really just a couple of ways to do it, but only one that really makes sense. And that is injecting security or adding security to your business. Now when I say that, and I go out there, in fact, I was uh, collaborating with somebody online yesterday who is in the security on the software side at a, uh, at a conference and they're, they're you know, recruiting resellers. And we were just uh, talking a little bit back and forth, chatting back and forth in LinkedIn and, and, uh, and recognizing that there's a lot of companies out there that think that if they sell firewalls and do antivirus, that they're in the security business, or or they're waiting for uh, you know Continuum's uh, security thing to come out, and then they'll be in the security business. And you know what? It's not true. Security is bigger than that. Security means being able to detect and respond to things that are coming in, things like ransomware, and that requires a managed security solution. Now. What I want to do is I want to explain to you just three things this morning. And there's a lot of things that we could cover, but there's three things. And that is what, why security is so important to your business. And, and not even, well, let's just start there. Why is it so important to your business? And there are three things I want to bring you. First of all, security is the fastest door opener out there. There's nothing else that is faster in opening doors, new doors, new logo business than security because everyone has a need. Now, that doesn't mean that all your prospects out there know they need security. It just means that there's an opportunity right now, given all the trends and everything, to do some education that's gonna open doors. And I know it does, because we're doing it all the time with Lunch and Learns. You just have to have the right marketing approach. But if you get that down, it is not hard to get an audience if you're talking about security trends. Again, not product, but security trends. Secondly, security offers the fastest way to create justification, why? Well, you can spend all day long trying to get somebody to figure out why you're better at patching a server or backing up data. But when it comes down to security, a simple assessment almost always uncovers major issues. It al almost always. So if you don't have a way to do that, you need one. And I actually have a security assessment tool that's free. You can get it on my website at stelzel.us. And I'm also gonna post it on this uh, video here so you can get it there too, okay? So you just download it and that's a template you, and I give you some instruction on how to use it. So there's, there you go, you can create justification. And thirdly, and this might be most important, is you create long-term value. You know, there's something maybe sort of interesting about patching somebody's system or, or you know, taking care of some of the system admin, blah, blah, blah. But do you know what? If you're showing somebody that there are, there are attacks against their company on an ongoing basis, and there are. In fact, two-thirds of attacks today are focused on small business. So if you're the guy behind that that's stopping all that stuff and you've got reports because you've got tools that give you reports that show you that you are detecting and responding, responding before they actually get in, then you've got tremendous value and that keeps you in there. It, it, it creates a longer retention. So that's really what you want if you wanna be out there and be a player and be called the trusted advisor. 
So I know trusted advisor is an old, outdated, you know, kind of stupid term, but it does mean something. And I'll end with this. It means to be trusted and it means able to advise. Able to advise on something that matters. And I gotta tell you, there is nothing more important right now than security, losing your data, and potentially losing your businesses. In fact, 60% of companies that get hacked today in the small business arena will go out of business if they, if they get hacked. So tell that to your next prospect and, uh, and, and give it a try. Make some comments down below if you're doing this or if you're trying to get into it, let me know, and we'll have some back and forth on it.